How are you doing today, Grace? Good. Everybody's fine? Everybody's good. We're glad to be here. Yep, no, we're excited. Yeah. Okay, well, you're not as excited as I am. I am excited. So for me, I know a lot about you already, Grace, but tell tell everybody a little bit about you. Oh, I am Grace Stobel, and I'm 24 years old. I'm a model. I'm a speaker. I'm an athlete. I'm an advocate. That's very impressive. One is good. Four is amazing. Uh -huh. Now, I, I don't even know if I'm going to say this right, but you're the new face of Obagi or uh -huh. Obagi? Obagi? Obagi. Yeah. Obagi. Okay. So you're the new face of that. How does that make you feel? Oh, it feels awesome. I think my mom, I think my modeling and speaking show what is possible. And it helps others to believe all in themselves. She's yeah. also doing a clothing line too, right? Yes, she's doing a, a clothing okay. line for uh, with Olivia out of New uh -huh. York. Um, That's what I confused. Yeah. Right, right. So and Obagi, Obagi is in, yeah. In, all those pictures I saw. Right. Okay. Right. That's you're yeah. you're the face of their skincare line. Right. Right. Perfect. Now, right. if I'm not mistaken, you're the first. I think it said American to be to have Down syndrome and be the face of a real big skincare line. I mean, this is a major company. It is. It's huge. It's absolutely huge. Yep. Pretty huge. Were you uh, nervous or no. was it just fun? You mean, no, not nervous. No. 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 Wow. I would have been, I would have been very nervous that, uh, for something that big and that important, everybody would be nervous. Are you, do you, are you nervous when you model? No, no, no. It's fun. It's fun. Yeah. I love it. Cool. How did you get into modeling? Oh, when, when I was researching to make that first effect, I saw an other girl with Down syndrome that was a model. So I asked, asked my mom if I could be a model. She said, oh, see why not? So it's your disgrace. <laughs> so we started really? on this amazing journey that brought me here today. Oh, wow. Uh -huh. So you saw someone and you said, I'm going to do that. And mom said, yeah. let's yeah. do it. Right. Right. Perfect. How long have now, you been doing? About two years, two years. Yep. Really? Uh huh. I'm in New York and there are a lot of models and they spend more than two years, five years, 10 years. Oh, they yes, never sir. get a face campaign for a skincare line. Mm -hmm. They never get a clothing line. This this is really amazing. I mean, you went right to the top in two it years. It's incredible. Yeah, yeah it, it's such an absolute honor. We are so, um, yeah, we're thrilled. We're honored. We just can't even express our our joy that Grace got chosen for this campaign and that we get to be with a, a company like Obaji that you know yeah. believes in diversity and inclusion and and um lives it every single day yeah are they giving you a lot of free products do you get a lot of oh, free yeah. yeah you do, <laughs> yeah, you do. That's good. Good good. Too. yeah that's a good bonus, right? yeah. good you better give her free stuff <laughs> she's using it she makes you guys all that money you better <laughs> give her free stuff. um what is the coolest thing you have gotten to do because of modeling oh my gosh, oh my gosh. it was so exciting I was on the Today Show. I got to meet Paula and Savannah. They were awesome, weren't oh, they? Yeah. yeah, it was so cool. It, that was one of the greatest experiences of our life. We, they flew us there. They um, actually came probably about six months earlier and filmed everything here at our house. Remember that oh, with, yeah. with Samantha? And then, oh, um, yeah. then they flew us out to to uh, be live on their on their set and. Both those ladies are just such absolute joys. Did you like New York? I do. It's fun. Yeah. Yeah, you like it. W uh -huh. Would you ever want to live here for a little while after things are better with the virus, when things are safe? Would you want oh, yeah. to live here? Uh huh. Yeah. It's a pretty exciting place. Yeah. It it is. New York is great. You have to like it. You have to love it. But um. Oh yeah. I. Great. 
I in Grace, I interviewed Hoda one time. Wow. Yeah. While we were doing the interview, she uh -huh. looked at my hair and she said, you have crazy hair. <laughs> and oh, I said, I love it's it. because it's raining. And she said, no, my hair is crazy too. I understand. Uh -huh. But she's one of those people you really like. But she said, yeah. you have oh, crazy yeah. hair. I said, yes, I do. What advice, uh, what would you say to people that want to follow their dreams? They have this idea of what they want. It's a big dream. How do you do it? Um, well, I know, be confident, believe, believe in yourself, work hard, and never give up. There you if go. everyone listen to that. Okay, so yep. be confident, uh -huh. work hard, and never give up. Uh-huh. Yeah. yeah. You're a very, very wise person, my friend. Grace, oh, those are you. perfect words. Everybody listen to her. What are your future plans? Oh, yeah, I want to keep on following and speaking and how people we think is possible. Because I think through exposure, we can create change. Um, it doesn't. And people fear what they don't understand. And I think by having people like Grace, you know, in social media and in campaigns, and you see this over and over, your exposure changes your perception of what they thought, you know, uh, a situation was. And um, I just, I love that she's oh, able yeah. to be a part of that and break barriers and break down fears and, and change perceptions. And, you know, Obaji is is giving her the voice to be able to do that. And uh, so is Olivia Clothing in uh, New York. They are giving her the platform to be able to change oh, yeah. um, the dynamics of, of how people are represented at, in the population. Because actually people with disabilities are um, the largest minority in the world. And so, yeah, to be represented in in uh advertising and media is a pretty big thing oh yeah yeah very big thing yeah and like you said the largest i did i had no idea it was the largest minority and yet uh -huh. why aren't they included because even if they were being selfish as a business they should say hey this is this is a group of people that we're not paying attention to and we could make money so even if you're not doing it for the right reason you should be doing it for the financial reason right wow right that's and social media, I think, oh, yeah. definitely makes such a difference because everybody is there looking at it, either for fun or work or just boredom. Yeah. And then to see like what I saw Grace is doing all the time, it's exciting, it's interesting, it's fun, entertaining. And like you said, not just entertaining, it's educational. Right, mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Now, are you getting some free clothing from Olivia? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I do. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. Well, you have to just do a, like mm -hmm. five more places, get a free car from me. Yeah. <laughs> get you some free, um, we've mm -hmm. got the makeup, you got the clothing, get a car. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you're fine. You're doing great, but you'll mm -hmm. get a lot more things in the future. Yeah. Who inspired you to model? Oh, my sister, Lainey. She inspired me. She was a dancer. Mm -hmm. And you always oh, wanted yeah. to be on stage yeah. like her. Yeah. 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 Oh, Grace right. would always sit in the audience and watch and let everybody, you know, clap for her and, and cheering, cheering, and she absolutely loved that. And then when, like earlier, when uh, Grace talked about when she was researching for the Grace Effect, she came uh -huh. across a couple of girls that were modeling, and she said, "Mom, can I do it?" And I was like, "I don't see why not. Let's do this, right?" Oh, yeah. Um, so we just we did we got. We hired a photographer. Uh, the photographer that we've used here in St. Louis, Trina Travis, has done all her photos. We posted it to uh, Facebook, and they went crazy wild. They were like, I think she had 220,000 shares in two weeks. So, and it just kind of snowballed from there. It was wow. really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That is, those numbers are, that's Kim Kardashian numbers, 200,000 shares. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Good for you, Grace. That is amazing. Um, oh, thank you. Are you ever nervous? But no, you're not no. nervous modeling. You don't seem to be nervous about anything. You just. No, I'm really good. You're really good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's great. Confidence. Confidence. 
yep. when you're speaking, because I, I saw um, there's some pictures I saw of you speaking in front of a whole room of people. Everybody, the worst thing for them is they don't want to do public speaking. You're not nervous with public speaking? No, no, no. Wow. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. And actually, Grace started speaking in 2017, right? How yeah. many how many students have you spoken to already? About 3,000 students. 3,000, yeah. Wow. 3,000 students. And also, there's a, a anti-bullying program. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You're an ambassador for that. Right. Uh-huh. Do they have what? Do they have you do a lot of things? Do you speak for the anti-bullying program? You know what? We haven't um, spoken with, uh, it was, it's called Be Strong uh, Global, but um, Grace and I did the presentation called The Grace Effect, and we just started it here in St. Louis, and we just went from school to school, and it was such a huge draw that, um, you know, we she was getting booked two and three times a week, and... Oh. Um, yeah, it was huge. And, you know, the the response was just overwhelmingly uh, positive and impactful. She, um, they, we do a lot of role playing about like, what is it like to have, you know, a day in the life of somebody oh, like yeah. Grace? And what is, what are some of her struggles, right? Uh -huh. um, and we do exercises like, what is it like to have low tone? And what is it like to have, um, problems with fine motor skills and what is the other one? Oh, your vision and uh, yeah yeah my, my vision and, and my my bullets. right and so we just put the kids through different kinds of exercises and they kind of see how challenging life can be and we our idea was just mm -hmm. to um elevate empathy and have people um, understand what it might be like to live a day in the life of somebody, you know, uh -huh. with a disability. Um, and it didn't come from me. It came from her and yeah. her journey and her experience. The grace effect. Right. Right. Like yeah. Great. Yeah. I like that. The grace effect. So when you leave your house, you must be recognized a lot because of social mm -hmm. media and all the, is that, um, that must feel very cool if someone says, oh, there's Grace. Look, hi, Grace. How you doing? And it's a strange Good. person. Yeah. yeah. Isn't it pretty You're exciting to be noticed by everybody? Yeah. I do. Yeah. yeah. It sure is. Yeah. yeah. She loves that. Wow. Actually, the Maybe. other day, what was it? We went to Silky's. Oh, we yeah. went to this ice cream uh, place. Silky's. Yeah. And they just like, oh my God, there's Grace. And they're like, I follow you on Instagram. And they're like, your ice cream's for free. <laughs> oh, that was pretty cool, wasn't it? That's cool. That yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. Grace hasn't paid for something in two years. Right. I like that. Yeah. No matter who you are, we we went all the same things to be valued, to be respected, and to feel good about ourselves. And that is Grace Strobel, the model, the spokeswoman, the speaker, the ambassador for anti-bullying, for everything. Well, I can't thank you enough. You are wonderful. You're an inspiration. And I'm going to do all those things you said. And uh, you're so right about what you just said about being valued. Um, your mom is great. And you're great. So thank you. Thank you very, very much, Grace. Mwah.